Hello once again, good day to all of you. My name is Blair and welcome to another operating system OS. Today we're gonna update our system for second time for this mid June 2024 and I want to show you again our update which is right now let's see the updates what is the update for today so we are fetching our update right now it is a weekend and we still have a lot of update this is a update for our free desktop platform Mesa Chromium and of course free desktop and of course including our Google Chromium and Google Chrome let's update this one as you can see we could like see the update in each application and software system and of course we don't have the blue screen and of course we are not abruptly stopped by the update we could like close this one compared to the windows that we could not do anything about it right here we could like move on like we could like open our any application right here even our office so as you can see I could like still type in any platform right here like typing no need to stop every thing when it is updating okay so we could like close this one save or not of course we could still like see our update right here and we still have one update of course it is 99% right now we don't have any like uh, stoppage of our work if there is a system update or security update or any application update and now it is up to date did you see that we need to restart no we don't need so that is why it is basically it is the best operating system the best kernel base in Linux operating system so today we are now in our update with our Windows and this is the version 23 h2 version of Windows 11 and of course we're gonna go into our system settings and I have some updates right here okay so needed action so I have the Intel software components right here plus the updates of Windows 11 version 23 h2 and of course we also have some malicious wear removal mm -hmm. so yes we were like talking about the mid-year of 2024 and this is the update so the last time that I checked was around like lunchtime and of course I need to install this update and we were talking about in Linux how we do it the Linux version on how the system updates and the software update was uh, uh, complied with and this one of course it needed some action let's see this is recorded with a screen and a uh, GoPro so let's see what can we see for this update we could like compare this the update of Windows version the Linux base kernel so let's click the update so we could see the update right here So a little bit like different. We don't go to the software center here in Windows. We just go to the the system settings and for the update. Of course, it's still downloading, initializing, and 
we have this but let's see after we hit the download and initializing are they still going on with the blue screen of update that you are stopped from doing everything well, let's see if this is one of the updates that they have maybe if they realize it they change it well well, let's see if what we could find well it's still not moving okay let's just open our only office so the GoPro and the uh, microphone of the uh, OBS that I'm carrying right now it is side by side okay so Windows 11 23 H2 update system okay let's close that one nope we will not uh, ooh. it is now downloading and yes we could see that it is still slow compared to the Linux that very fast and you could see how much kilobytes or megabytes or gigabytes here in Windows you don't have any it's just only like the download let's see double click nope 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 you don't have like that so Windows is still not the best for me Linux base kernel operating system well they have all the details they have the kilobytes megabytes or gigabytes indicated right here plus the details when you double click it or you click it you will have all the details what is going on and of course this one is just only download and the percentage wow okay oh well this is what I don't like in Windows they just you know never care about the what is that particular download is all about what is that particular update is all about you need to go to the website and search for it but in Linux base kernel operating system it is just complete with details let's refresh we could still oh okay slow to response OMG okay I was clicking the refresh and very slow to response this is still the same uh, I'm using the same system I'll let you see this is all the same oh okay see I'm still using the same computer it's still going on without any information aside from like the percentage and what's uh, initial thing or it is downloading but the details nope no they don't have I need details what is that particular malicious software removal tool what is that particular version 23h2 for x64 based system Windows 11 update what is that Conculative update yeah what is that what is that cumulative update you know it lack of details it lack of information I need to search for it in Linux kernel base operating system when you click the information right here this one you could have like link direct link to what particular update right here it's just only like downloading initializing and the percentage oh windows you're still primitive you're still dinosaur oh pending installation I hope windows software will be like change like I hope they change this particular no details I hope they gonna change the details need details 
you're always blinding the user you're saying that you are the best no you're just popular come on if you are the best then make it the best but right now I don't see it you're too commercialized I don't know what's going on do I have information about this one and then telling us like Windows update is committed to help reduce carbon emission we need information first you're just like changing the topic oh man the frustration and tell you frankly sometimes I really don't know what's going on already in Windows last time I have some problems because I don't use usually the Windows in things and then sometimes you need to do something else just to work it while in Linux when you install it and then you configure it it's already done it's okay but well see uh, another update in your system outside from the operating system see that is why you have already pending the update inside the operating system now there's another update outside the operating system come on linux can do that it's just only like on the operating system when you restart it's just applied not like this if there is a core update in the system software well then you have that outside update but this one come on windows it's getting like even right now you don't even provide details like this one are you changing my bios without telling me if there's some, some something like in my bios you change what the heck are you doing okay let me enter my fingerprint another oh man how many minutes already hmm what the heck hmm okay building delightful apps what the heck delightful are you crazy okay i'm just gonna skip this skip this one this is this is bs it's just another like hmm see decline okay why I need L everything I already installed it after installation another installation wow Windows you really bugs me so manipulative even check for update is just no indication of like hmm another wow intelligent update hmm. okay check another Hmm, complete. Yeah, complete already. And you didn't get it? 
it's been already like hmm. okay this is just BS and I check it and it returned back to like complete this is BS okay that's about it I'm pissed off I just spent like 30 minutes just for that in Linux you only have like everything like within like five minutes in Windows 30 minutes congratulations Windows you just made me like doing nothing for like 30 minutes just waiting for your update okay i'm out so that's it for our os operating system so that's about it for our operating system updating our mid-year mid-june 2024 i'm blair your science teacher and computer and mathematics teacher Bye for now and see you in the next episode. If you have some question, feel free to ask me. Write it in the comments down below. Bye for now and see you in the next episode. Ciao.